Good morning, gamers. Welcome back. I am the AMDM Lee. This is my cup of coffee, and you're watching Bridgewater Nights. Okay, so we did not have a game last week. Uh, so, uh, because we had our, uh, as I've mentioned before, we've had our uh, company Christmas party. So, there was no game, but we're getting ready to go back into a game. Uh, last week, I believe in this episode I talked about, I just basically gave a heads up on who was who was all doing uh what some call it and uh basically gave you a list of the players so i'm gonna actually do this is gonna be more of a perception check than a bridgewater knights update uh so i've been getting this stuff on my facebook it keeps popping up it keeps popping up Go check out Scarab. Uh, not Scarab. Uh, Scabbard. Go check out Scabbard. GM Tools. Keep track of your RPG. Keep track of this. Keep track of this. So I've been, I keep getting it. I've been getting it and getting it and getting it. And uh, so I was like, all right, I'm going to go finally check this out. And I do. And I play around with it a little bit and... Start entering my stuff in, and Scabbard is awesome. Uh, I highly recommend all of my players to go to Scabbard, log in, create an account, and then send me a message saying, Hey, I've logged in. That way I can go give me your username so I can go in there and put connect you to your character and you can fill in your backstories and all this other stuff it is a very cool thing it allows me to make connections between players and places and contacts they might know i really do enjoy it uh a lord dm get in there sign in there give me yours and so i can because you know some extra little things because we've been talking on the DM Legion, which you need to sign up for if you are a dungeon master. My players are not allowed in there until they actually run a game at my table. Uh, it's a short video, I think. Uh, but I, I do tell you, I love this uh, scabbard. I haven't even played all of the notes. I've just been sitting here putting in information but I do love the interconnectedness of it. Because once you create a a page on there, uh, like I'm going to use uh, Clay, whose character Clay is played by my wife. Allows me to go in there and create all of these different connections. Allows me to put in the, the alignment, character class, race, language, uh, their role, any aliases they have, birthplaces, any group allies they have, the campaign they're in, which is automatically generated, who their contacts are, which I've got. I just went ahead and put in a whole list of contacts that they have. Uh, and once you create these, if there's one in there, you type in a name. If it's one of the names you've already added, it'll add it in there. If it's a name you haven't added yet, Another little window will pop up and go, okay, this hasn't been added. Who is this person? And you write in a little description. You click OK. And as long as you save at the bottom, another entry has been made to your campaign. Automatically. So it just creates this link right there. It allows you to do it instantly. So you can just continually update. And it's so integrated. It's like... Uh, there's so much stuff in here. Uh, who's the clay father? He's a father. Okay. Father of who is he a father of? Does clay have any children? 
I as a DM can put something in, click secret, and nobody will know. Uh, friends, guardians, home, home world, icons, leader of groups, leader of places, locations, maker of items, members of groups, mentors, mentors of, morality traits, their mother, mother of, notes, organizations, organizers, owners, owners of, place people, paramour, paramour of, Participants, uh, prisoners, rescuers, rescuee, rivals, rival groups, rival characters, seeker of items, servants. Who is who? Who are their servants, and who are they a servant of? Spouses, subordinates. Who are they? Who are their subordinates, and who are they subordinates of? Training grounds, just all of this information is here. You click save and it is saved. I love it. Uh, you can create items. Uh, there's just so many things on here. These magic items you can do. Uh, artifacts, ships, just whatever. I've created, I've had to create a couple of different ones because they weren't listed in the drop down menus on them. But that's okay because... You can freaking create items. Uh, uh, I've created a couple of boats. I've created I just basically item ale. Because something required... What are this pe manufacturer of? Ale. So I had to create ale. And then for the description, it was like ale, beer, beer. Ale, beer, drink. And that was just it for the description. Just enough. Uh, there's an NPC who makes clothes that they met. So basic fine or a store so it's like what is the store the maker of fine clothes basic and fine clothing store that's it so yeah uh awesome uh scabbard is an awesome thing i'm gonna put a link in here just just really oops uh, really, really cool stuff. And once you get in there, you create a, a thing. There's more stuff you can add. You can add images, connections, uh, even stats. Like, I can build a shop. Oh, my God. I can build a shop. I can actually build... See, this is where things uh, I hadn't thought about. So, place categories, villages, village. I've got a lot of villages, schools, stables, taverns, treasures. Uh, I know I've built shops. Oh, I guess they're in their buildings. Shops, nine shops. But there's a, a section at the beginning of it. That says, uh, like, stats. And it's just a blank little table. You could actually build, like, a inventory list with the cost and everything on there. You could build them. You could go to a tavern and build a menu on this thing. I love this. This is, uh, if I could connect this with my... I, with D and D Beyond, it would be the ultimate gaming setup. I love this. I absolutely love it. All right, guys, that's all I've got for today. Uh, tomorrow is perception check, so uh, I, I'm ready for that. Which I have my uh, my newest crate came in, so tomorrow will be on the dungeon crate. All right, that's all I got for now, guys. If you like these videos, please click on the like button. If you think someone else would like them, please click on the share button. Every like's an inspiration, every share's an advantage, and every subscription is an experience point. Help me gain 300 experience points to get to second level. And as always, the AMDM does hereby authorize you, the viewer, to gain 10 experience points for every video that you share. So, that's all I have. I had to look at my button to figure out which one to push. Yeah, so that's it. Go forth and roll some dice.